Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to the Unity Desktop. Unity is the desktop environment used in the wildly popular Ubuntu Linux distribution. Unity superseded the GNOME 2 desktop in 2011. Due to a lack of customization features and a number of questionable design decisions on the part of Canonical, Unity is one of, if not the, least preferred desktop environments on the Linux platform. Despite this, the desktop's large user base and useful built-in features make it an excellent desktop for beginners and power users alike. Today, we'll be looking at the basics of using the Unity desktop environment. The Unity desktop provides users with a clean and mostly out-of-the-way desktop experience, though the layout can be unusual for new users. The desktop consists of two main items, the launcher and the top panel. Let's look at the panel first. On the right side of the panel is an area for your application indicators, as well as icons for your network, Bluetooth, keyboard layout, volume, and battery. Here you also have your clock, which expands into a full calendar when clicked. Finally, on the far right of the panel is your user menu. Clicking this menu gives you the option to see information about your computer, open the Ubuntu desktop help, open your system settings, lock the screen, switch to another user, log out, suspend, or shut down your computer. Along the left side of the screen is your launcher. This launcher provides you with icons to launch and switch to any programs you assign here much like the taskbar in Windows 7 and on. At the bottom of the launcher are icons to open any connected storage devices, such as hard drives, USB drives, or DVDs. Finally, below that is a link to your trash can. Files can be dragged here to be thrown away. Some applications allow the user to right-click its launcher icon to see more options. For example, right-clicking the File Manager icon provides a list of commonly used folders. The Unity Dash is the main stage for the Unity desktop, not only providing users with their commonly used files and applications, but additional content collected from various places on the internet. We'll just be looking at the basics for now, but feel free to explore the Dash and learn about all of its features. To access the Dash, click the Ubuntu button in the top left corner. By default, the Unity Dash opens in full screen. On the main page, you'll find your recently used applications and your recently opened files. From here, you can start typing the name of an application or file to open it. If you'd like to see a list of your installed applications, click the Applications icon at the bottom of the dash. Now, you'll be presented with a list of your recently used applications, as well as all applications installed on your computer. If you open an application, you'll likely notice the absence of any menu bar on the application. In Unity, the menu bar has been moved to the top of the screen, along the top panel. To access the menu bar, simply hover over the panel and select your menu button. On the topic of menu bars, Unity provides a very useful feature to allow the user to easily search for items in any of the application's menu bars without having to sift through dozens of submenus. To do this, simply press the Alt key on the keyboard and then start typing the name of the menu option you would like to use. One of the more disorienting features of the Unity desktop is the converged title bar in maximized applications. If you maximize a window, you'll notice that the title bar and window buttons have disappeared. In Unity, these are moved to the top panel. To access the window buttons, simply hover over the panel, and the buttons will appear in the top left corner. If you would like to lock your screen, you can do so by going to the user menu and clicking lock. Your lock screen will appear, and the screen will fade out before turning off. To wake the system, simply move the mouse, type your password, and hit enter. If you would like to shut down your computer, you can also do so by going to the user menu. This time, however, click shut down you'll be presented with the option to shut down or restart your computer. Unity provides its users with a fluid, feature-rich desktop experience. The Unity Dash is a powerful feature that provides users with media and files from their various social media and online sources. Feel free to explore the desktop and customize it to your liking. My name is Ben High, and I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the Unity Desktop. Thanks for watching.